Hey guys, Serenity here again. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, little tutorial type thing of how I did my um, overlay. So I went on my computer, found, found it, found my design that I wanted. Um, today, just for this, I'm gonna just show you the heart. I printed it out at the size that I wanted. Don't know why I'm trying to hurry here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out really quick. This is a um, really easy way to do it. If you have one of those silhouette machines or like the Cricut or some sort of a machine that cuts vinyl, this would definitely be, um, there would definitely be a different way of doing it because you would have an SVG file and something like that that you would download on your computer and cut out that way. But since I have a Cricut, but it's so old, I don't think, I don't even think it would work. All right, let me get a piece of vinyl so this isn't so big. Okay, once I have my design cut out, just on computer paper, I'm going to go ahead and take some double-sided sticky tape. If you have this, it is like a lifesaver. It's really easy to use on your vinyl to sew it and all that good stuff. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so what you wanna do is the right side of your piece, you wanna put some double-sided sticky tape on or glue of some sort that will adhere to the back side of your vinyl. So that's the right side and I have double-sided sticky tape on it. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off and I'm going to lay my right side of my design on the wrong side of my vinyl. Okay, now it's stuck on there, it's not coming off. Now if you want, you can go ahead, trace around it And then you can peel that paper off and throw it away. Or you don't have to trace around it at all. You can just pick up your vinyl and um, cut around your shape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut around my shape. Okay, so now you have your paper and you have the back side of your vinyl stuck together. Go ahead and peel the paper off and you can get rid of the paper. We don't need it anymore because we have our piece. Now, I gotta get another scrap piece of paper, or scrap piece of vinyl here, let me do that. So what I'm uh, imitating is my flap. This is my mini NCW flap I put GT on. So we're gonna pretend this is part of our flap. We wanna put our design on our flap so you're gonna have to figure out where exactly you want it on your piece. Use double-sided sticky tape again to help hold that design in place on the wrong side of your vinyl. Okay. Peel, whoa. Peel that off. And it doesn't matter where I stick it because yeah, this is just a practice piece. Okay. Also, these uh, Fiskars, this is a really nice tool to have to uh, cut out the small corners and whatnot if you absolutely need it. Let me get my pieces picked up. Okay, I don't need all this, let me move it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my machine on and we'll go ahead and do this together. So right now, this is what we have. You have your uh, flap <laughs> and you have your vinyl overlay. Super easy. Let me move you over a little bit. And I'm going to use a 2.5 stitch length. I have a Juki DU1181N. It is a, it is a, um, an industrial machine. And I'm just going to sew really close to the edge of my design piece. So that, which would be my heart. Take your time. I'm going to hand crank around these curves. I moved, that might be wonky. Okay. Should have done a square. That <laughs> would have been faster. Okay. If my machine would go really slow, smoothly, this wouldn't be a problem, but 
it likes to be jerky and skip two stitches ahead and yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, take your time. All right, I did get a little wonky up in here, but that's all right, you get the gist. So, um, yeah, so that's how I did it. Uh, same thing with the GT, it was just more to cut out. It wasn't a simple little, you know, heart. You know, just do the same exact thing that I did on the heart and you'll have your overlay. So that's how I did mine on my Annette uh, handbag with the, uh, oh, I moved it, but like with the uh, Mustang emblem. So um, I probably won't be doing a video on the mini NCW. I already have a couple of them that I did. So, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching.